So I'm here in, in Berlin, and with me is Corey Ray, the producer of the new <laughs> Pixar movie, Onward. Um, you've worked with uh, a lot of Pixar films, for, for example, Bugs Life, Toy Story 2, <laughs> Monsters, Inc., Mo The Incredibles, yeah. Up, and Monsters University. What has changed over the course of the years? Ah, what has changed? That's a great question. Um, I think the at Pixar specifically, our talent level has just gotten better and better and better. So I think um, <clears throat> we can do more. Um, and we can, uh, in the case of Onward, we can take a pair of pants and make audiences actually feel something um, and feel emotion uh, just with a pair of pants. And I think that speaks to the quality and the level of the animators themselves and how good um, the animators have gotten over the over time. Um, and the other thing is, you know, in, in the early days, we were making it up. We were the first ones to kind of enter into the CG world. And um, so we just have a lot of brilliant filmmakers at the studio. And over time, things have gotten a little, a little uh, more streamlined, a little more, um, not easy per se, but uh, not in the storytelling, but in the production, a little more smooth. Yeah. You were just speaking about the pair of, of uh, <laughs> trousers there. Right? Yeah. Uh, how did you make people feel something? <laughs> How did you achieve that? Yeah, yeah, um, a lot of a lot of discussion, a lot of discussion, a lot of testing. Um, trying to, we did some pencil tests and some uh, animation tests, really trying to figure out what were the specifics um, that we could do that would create emotion. Um, so both kind of in general, how how does he walk? What are what are you know? What is the size and shape of of the pants and the shoes, and what color are the socks, and how do those help with emotion? So all of the little details all kind of come together, um, but it required a lot of a lot of thinking and a lot of discussion. So we just saw some clips of of the of the finished film. Mm. Um, it's still four months to go until the film comes out. Right. Uh, at what stage is the film at this moment? Yeah, we're, we're just kind of finishing in post-production right now. So most of the, the picture is done, most of it, um, almost all of it. And now we're in kind of doing the mix and, and all of the post-production work. So it's exciting. Yeah. And since no one can see the film right now, <laughs> what is it about? Can you tell us just yeah. with, with, with some quick words? Sure, yeah. Um, Onward is the story of two elf brothers who go on a quest to spend one day with the father that they lost. And it's about this their epic journey um, to try to spend that one day with them. Mm -hmm. At Pixar, you always do a lot of research trips for every film to, yeah. to make it more realistic. But with a with the, this kind of world, did you do any trips or, or where, where did you go? Yeah, we actually, we, we did a few, but mostly uh, to try to understand kind of the, the modern and suburban aspect of the fantasy world. So we went to larger cities and, and trying to just kind of gather information um, about the world and, and how to make that a believable world. Um, but uh, since it's fantasy, we weren't able to go to the you know, land of fantasy creatures and centaurs and satyrs and, and do our research. So most of it was through uh, reading and, and film and, and all of that kind of stuff. Mm. So I'm always surprised when a new Pixar film is being announced, uh, how you come up with all these brilliant stories that really matter. Um, but is it getting harder to find original stories these days? Um, it doesn't feel like it's it's more difficult to come up with um, original ideas. I think um, the the filmmakers at Pixar are so creative, and and I think especially if you're if you're creating a story that comes from a personal place, the world is wide open, and you can kind of find new ways of of telling that story and new worlds to tell it in. Mm. Um, in the previous films, you had some technical challenges like fur or water mm. or even hair, uh, right. since all of these things have been solved and, uh, and are really looking brilliant, um, does it mean you actually have more time to focus on story and characters? Yeah, we definitely had we definitely had time on this film to really focus on the story. And it was a conscious choice for by Dan and I to really spend 
quality time up front focusing on the story. Um, but technologically and, and kind of visually, we also spent a lot of time on the development of the effects themselves because we had to create the look of magic. Um, and we wanted magic to be specific to our film and, um, and incorporate it kind of into the storytelling and make sure that the look of magic um, matched the rest of the story, but also pushed the story forward in terms of Ian's arc. Mm. So. I have a feeling that Pixar films uh, these days are much more deeper in story and characters. Um, do you share mm. that impression? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think all of the... Most of our films uh, are pretty deep, and I think it's because um, of the creatives at the studio and the fact that um, we kind of make the films for ourselves, and we are the closest to them, and we have to kind of watch them and be our own audience for so long. And so I think we want stories that are deep. We want stories that are, are unique and that have a lot of humor and emotion. And so we kind of, that's, we, we kind of help ourselves to do it within the studio. Okay. Yeah. I know that at Pixar, you don't do any new projects until the one is finished. But yeah. Do you have any plans <laughs> for the future already? Maybe? No, I think the only plan is for, for Dan and I to, you know, get this one out to the world and then probably go back into development and hopefully come up with another idea. I'm really looking so. forward, <laughs> forward for that. Really ah. looking forward to see the film. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it.